Hello, this is Angelic Empress showing you my Naughty Natural Lawn Locks. I will be demonstrating a simple wash and retwist of my hair. Without further ado, let's get into it. The products I'm using is called OGX Shampoo and Conditioner. I found love with this product for its sulfate free and animal cruelty free. The name of the brand is called Coconut Miracle Oil, which has a vanilla bean abstract scent, which smells amazing. I'm so addicted. I can't stop smelling. <laughs> the natural strength is for uh, my damaged hair repair. Um, it adds moisture as well as a good silky filling. It smells good and makes me feel like an island girl for real. Let's get into the steps. back from towel drying my hair it leaves my locks in place as well as the moisture inside let me take a sip of my coffee cheers <laughs> all better okay I feel comfortable of unwrapping my hair let's see the outcome I usually tie dry my hair after every wash it feels very soft not as damp definitely feels lighter and I feel refreshed and clean I definitely don't mind my Rasta gal though <laughs> let's get into the supplies I'm using a tooth comb and I usually use these clips to keep my hair in place and in sections uh, the little clips, I use those to secure my new growth of my locks, which is progress. And while the new growth from my roots is also good and healthy and strong and around my crown, see the length? That is always progress. In between my wash, I use a dry shampoo, coconut scent, and a virgin olive oil for my retouch. Uh, what I'm using today is As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. Smells so good. I'll be using a thicker mango lime Jamaican Castro black oil as well as a Jamaican lock grow mango and lime I don't do wax 
Uh, this has a grease consistency. It's lighter on my hair. And the menthol smells so good. All right, I'm going to part my hair in sections to start the process. Palm rolling usually takes me two hours without distractions of my kids, my animals, slash pets. Um, so I'm not demonstrating a two hour video. I'm just showing you my tedious process, but uh, my techniques of my crafts. So sit back and take notes. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this section of palm rolling. I usually part my hair in a whole roll and section it off into sections and braid it. You see how I palm roll that from the root on down? That's my simple technique that helps compress and tighten my hair to become dreadlocks. I just completed the second roll. I'm going to do this over my entire head. Now that my front's complete and my baby hairs are still intact, <laughs> I still got my back to do. Not bad for seven years. I encourage everyone on this lock journey to be patient with yourself and stick with it. You see I had to connect my hair during the process as chicken feet in Jamaican terms. But just go with the flow and do what's best for you on this journey. I'm encouraging you to not give up, to see growth like mine's. Almost complete. Now that my head is done up nice, looking good, feeling good, here almost down to my box side, <laughs> that's my goal. My crown is done all around. I can actually feel the breeze through my scalp, 
my new growth is also looking good and there's no price required <laughs> the back just wanted to show you the length there nice I tie my hair in the back and pretty much all around my crown to protect my style that I demonstrated for you today if you like this video give it a thumbs up to see more thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe